Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Didi and I make videos about the little things in life that I like. So in today's video, I'm going to go over all my Boston style bag collection. I have three. <laughs> First one I purchased up to the latest one. So the first uh, bag that has the Boston style, which is this style bag, this style where it's like a doctor bag, you know, the one they used to wear back in the days for like house calls and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the Boston style handbag. So the very first one I purchased was the uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 bandolier and the Demir Ebin uh, point. So this one uh, comes with the bandolier version where it has the strap uh, that you can cross body or shoulder or they have the classic style where it does not have the, the strap so and there is a price difference between the uh, bandolier version and then the classic version without the strap so I went with the bandolier version because if it gets because like it's a top handle bag but it is big this one's 25 centimeters on the bottom so it can get heavy so that's why i decided to go with the uh bandolier version it's more versatile like you can wear it different ways so it is uh, like i mentioned the size 25 it comes in 30 35 and then anything higher than 35 i believe consider as like the key pole like the uh, weekend bag styles and they do have those either with the strap or without the strap so this is her it is the Damir Ibin which is the checker type of brown print with gold hardware so this one it's one of my oldest luxury bags that's in my collection I think I purchased it either 2017 or 2018 so yeah feels like a while ago <laughs> And so far, it's been holding up perfectly fine, except for one thing, the lock. Because this one will come with the lock, which I don't think I have it. Yeah, it's not on the back. I took it away. So it comes with a lock and key that you put in the zipper. But for some reason, the lock and key for my Speedy got tarnished. Everything else looks fine. All the other hardware is fine, but the lock and key got tarnished really good. I think after like two years or three two or three years and i know this is started to tarnish so i just took it off and i've been worrying without it and i don't mind because i did buy this around the same time so i bought this uh with the bag uh same year same same purchase same order yeah. so i bought this little charm that just have the l and the v and gold hardware so this is the first one like i said uh damir bean uh, gold hardware it has a beautiful 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 red interior and then it comes with a zippered pocket in the back that you can fit a little card holders cash card it's not a whole big uh, pocket and it ha it's like a flap and this one was made in Because I think they switch where they say made in where. Where was this made? That's the serial number. I think I thought they made in thing, but I can't locate it right now. It just says down here Louis Vuitton Paris. Why does it say they made it? Because this is not a chip one, because this one was purchased before they started with the chip thing. But well, anywho, this is the cross body. I got stuff coming out. I got cheese. That was I bought it on vacation one time. <laughs> anywho, so you do have an adjustable strap. So the strap have two pieces. So this is the long version for you to a cross body. Or you could take one of the pieces out. And so it would be like a little word shoulder. So let to be honest with you, I've always worried a top handle like this in the hook of my arms, like so. And then I put the strap on it, and then the strap is just hanging, but not like 
cross body and if i do need my hands free for like a little while i will put the strap cross body but, and normally i just wear a top handle i do have a bag organizer for it for the life of me i cannot find it i probably put it like in one of my other bags that has the same size but i look for it before this video <laughs> I could not find it, but I do have it. It's not lost. I just have to find which bag I put it in because without the bag organizer, it's very slouchy. And I kind of like my bag to be structured, especially when you put stuff in like a bottle of water, it's going to get, yeah, I do not like this, that look. I like it to be structured like this. So this one's the biggest one I have from my Boston style handbag collection. I don't know three, but according to the internet, three or more is a collection. So we're going to call it a collection. Anywho, <laughs> the second Boston style bag I have is uh, this one from Burberry. Oh, for this one, I don't remember the price. I'll put it on the screen, the current price. Of, but when I bought it years and years ago, it was, I think, 12 something. So it has quite a few price increase since I purchased it. Like I have it for, I think, close to seven years. So yeah, a lot of price increases since then. So this is the next one. That's like the middle size. This one's from Burberry. It is this beautiful Burberry print bag that I purchased it from 24S last year. I think I bought it August of last year. I think I bought it August of last year. So this one, it does come in a, the, two other colors. It comes in like a green version of it. The same print, but everything is like a different shade of green. And then the same print in a beige version, like the original Burberry beige uh, print. And this one. So this one, I purchased it from 24S for 30% off. Because I had a code, they said for 30% off. And it worked on this one, so I purchased it. So this one, original price was $14.90. It's still $14.90, and I got 30% off of it. So this one, also have a lock and key, but I've never unlocked it. Still have the plastic. So this one have top handle, and then the strap. Also have a crossbody strap. It is as well. And the color black with the white stitching. So this one, I do wear it crossbody a few times because it's small enough, but not a whole lot. But I do like to wear a top handle as well, like this. It's very cute. So this one, I wear it in the sense that, like, it's a neutral bag. So whenever I need, like, a neutral, like, a brown bag, whatever, whatever outfit it is, if it's, like, a brown type of bag, I go with this one, so. The strap I usually wear it like this or like this and wear a top handle. Or if I need my hands free for a few minutes, that will cross body it or shoulder it's long enough. And it is as well adjustable to a certain extent. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, punching holes. So you can adjust it to make it even shoulder bag if you wear it all the way down here yeah put the little shoulder bag with it as well but this is the second one this one does not have feet and the louis vuitton does not have, have feet either oh one more thing this one comes in different type of points it comes in the monogram the damir bean which is this one damir reserve which is the white cream version and it comes in a lot of special uh not okay seasonal print <laughs> <laughs> a lot of seasonal but like different colors different sizes as well and last but not least it's my baby <laughs> this one i am in love with this bag like this one's gonna be in my collection forever and ever until i pass it down to either my daughter or my niece because i do i have i don't have kids yet but i do have nieces so somebody gonna get this bag for me so this is the nano speedy nano uh with the strap i'm gonna show you the strap in a second so there was a version before this one that has the strap but the strap was not adjustable uh same size i believe or maybe like a little bit different in height yeah 
but this one the swab they make it adjustable not adjustable removable yeah the previous one was not removable which was odd if you're gonna add a swab i believe it should be removable so it will adjust it so yeah it comes with a strap adjustable and removable so it do have bunch of punching holes that you can make it shorter or longer and the, the the strap and the top handle is the vacuola leather but the thing is with this one you don't have to worry about it being darker than what it shows because it's already treated so for instance like if you buy the neverfull that i have a couple of them the straps they're not treated leather so you could get watermarks i'm not sure if there's a watermark on this one it is treated but the other one, they get patina where the color gets more and more darker and darker as it ages. So this one was purchased late last year, I believe. I think I got the Burberry one first and then I got this one. So this is part of the Nano line. So there is another Nano, which is the Alma. The Alma BB Nano or is it just Alma Nano? Which I will be adding to my collection. I just don't know when because there's other bags i want to add first but i don't want to have both because i do like the alma line as well because i do have one alma uh, bb so that i feel like it means a sister <laughs> so eventually we're gonna add the uh alma version of the nano this one like i wear it a lot as a grab and go bag i dress it up i dress it down i wear it with jeans i wear dresses i cross body it sometimes and i wear a top handle strap with the strap hanging down like this is it goes with everything so again i use it as i treat it as like it's a neutral bag even though it has point so if i need a brown bag a cream bag a beige bag i could grab this one i'm wearing like an outfit that requires um neutral bag even though it's monogram so yeah this one i believe the, the nano only comes in the monogram print in the past they had the colorful ones the one with the white background with the colorful lvs and the black version of that but that was ages and ages ago which they need to bring back if they ever bring those two back i, I will be <laughs> I will be adding at least one of them because they do have them in the pre-run market but I'm like hmm the price these people are asking for them are ridiculous I'm like no and they don't they don't even look like they're in that good of uh, condition you have to set them either through Louis Vuitton to get the uh, Vachetta leather change because they patinaed it's crazy pretty much turned brown I'm like and you're asking for that amount <laughs> Anywho, this was the latest uh, Boston bag I added to my collection. So I have three. As far as the Speedy goes, I think this is my one and only. If I were to get another Speedy bag, it would not be the 25, but I feel like the 25 is pretty big, right? Probably because they do have a size 20 that's like a tad bit smaller. If I were to add another Speedy, because at one point I did think of adding the monogram version. But I think that one came with the guitar strap. And that guitar strap, no, absolutely not. Sorry if you like it, but I cannot I cannot even look at the guitar strap. I'm like, you asking for these type of prices, and you can even add a leather strap? That's ridiculous. Like, absolutely not. So, this, <laughs> enough renting. So, this is my three Boston bag, Boston bags from Louis Vuitton, Burberry, and Louis Vuitton. So, yes, this was the video for today. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please take a second to like, comment, subscribe down below. I will greatly appreciate it. Bye.